Hello everyone, it is I, Hercules, bringing you another unboxing video and a little bit, bit of spice as well, kind of. So today we have some box of Phantom Rage, freshly opened, and two maximum gold boxes for a total of eight packs, which hopefully should give us some pretty nice pulls, which we will save for last because it is gold. Now before we crack into our box of Phantom Rage, I have this standalone pack for Phantom Rage from a separate box. A box I opened recently that I have been saving. And the reason it's here is because we pulled the money card. And here's the proof. We got the Zeus baby. We got the Zeus. And I was reading it and I think his um his quick effect his quick effect down there, if you can read that text, yeah, you should be able to. I don't think that effect is a once per turn, which makes him really broken. So he can nuke the board multiple times in a turn. At least the way I interpret this effect. Everything else, once per turn effect. Special summon Zeus with an XE, once per turn. Uh, do the other thing with Zeus. Wait, what is that thing again? Um, uh, oh yeah, card, card I control is destroyed by battle or card effect from the opponent's side. Attach a card from a uh, hand deck or extra deck to use to Zeus as material. Once per turn, the nuke the board, doesn't seem like it. It's not a once per turn, not a hard once per turn. That destruction effect seems super broken. Let's see if we can get a second one. As usual, packs, fresh, not been opened. We're cracking into it. Starting with the Phantom of Rage. Now I probably have at this point all of the major chase cards in high rarities that I wanted out of the set. Partly through trades, partly through box openings and such. But there's always some spicy tech in there, like this Tri-Brigade stuff is pretty good for the Beast, Beast Warrior and Winged Beast kind of uh, decks. Ah, Muted Ultimus. Oh, that's a nice secret. Oh, Jack and Andes is spicy level 1 tech. Spicy level 1 tech. If you're playing anything from the featured Ghost Tricks to any deck that has three or more level 1 monsters, you need to be playing this. It's so spicy. Alright. Ooh. Not sure if we have the battery for this, but we'll keep going. Uh, oh, the Gizmic! Oh, I just made a trade for this the other day with a mate. Amazing is pretty interesting, too. Okay, we got the Gizmic. Not too bad. I call him Fang. Alright, let's try and crack shoot these as quick as we can. Ah, Xeno Guitar. That's pretty nice. He's a, bit, he's a bit of a generic rock support. But then, but he's no Block Dragon. But on that note, he's probably not going to get hit like Block Dragon did. Rip that. Ah, Mutant ST46? Yeah, 46. Okay. So far, not a bad box, and Penguin. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what do we got? Virtual World Himi Nayana Nayan. Mmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to get a guaranteed two secrets in one box. And we've already pulled one secret, if I'm not mistaken, that mutant card. The mutant fusion card. So, it's only a question of what is the next one going to be? Ah, oh, Virtual World City... Kalu Loon. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. 
actually seems to be fading pretty fast. I need to speed things up a bit. Oh, Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Oh, that's another secret. Oh, I think I know people who would probably want that. All right, what else we got? Strange Lenius. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So far, it's not a bad box. And we're only Mercy should have first pile. Dual Avatar Feet. Yeah, Feet. Ahmed Un Goyu. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Virtual World Phoenix Fan Fan. Okay. Another jack in the hand, always good to see. Alright, uh, Virtual World Gate Chu Chi. Hmm. Oh, come on, get back in the pack. We don't have time to be playing with the cards. We only have time to be opening packs. We'll get this filming done as quick as possible before the battery dies. Now, right, what do we got? Uh, Roshi Lao Lao. Okay. Of the virtual world archetype. Okay. That's the first half. Not too bad. Not too bad. I try and speed through the second pile as quick as we can. We've only been going for seven minutes. Mutant Mist. Okay. Not too exciting, but not too bad. I don't really know if I'm going to be even touching mutants at this point. There's not really anything too dazzling about them. Another Lao Lao. Tribe gets a different story because it has a generic. Its cards, even though it does roll around itself, it also revolves around genericness with beast, beast warrior, and winged beast monsters. So things from like lunars, harpies, ojamas, just to put out a few random ish examples. And in case you missed that, that was a uh, a world virtual dragon, long long. Since I didn't really speak up about that. Raider's Wing. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's a good pull. Now I did build a, um, a Blackwing deck back in the day. And Blackwings do have a fair bit of synergy with Raid Raptors. With both being basically winged be dark wind beast archetypes. Ah, Mutant Synthesis. I suppose there's not really much to say. Ooh, Tribe Raid Car Corallis? Maybe. Mom, can we have Corallis? No, we have Corallis at home. Corallis at home. <laughs> I made a meme. Bonjour. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. Ah, Beast Jewy Jewy. Vegetables do seem kind of interesting because from what I see they are psychic based and they do seem to be uh, multi extra deck. It's been a while since we've seen a deck like that. And at a Chu Chi gate. Okay. Ooh, I think we're going to be able to make it just in time. Uh, 
Uh, um, you've missed. Not too bad. You got the uh, the new Dark World card. Charge. Which is good for low level fiend decks. Like Dark World. Or um, I guess Infinities. It's kind of a, a fiend deck as well. Kind of. Like you could probably build it to be like a nothing but a fiend deck. Ooh, Tribe Brigade Frectail. Okay, that's not too bad. Good pull. And at this rate, I think we've already uh, hit our secret limit already on the box. Because we pulled two secrets. I pretty much believe that only two secrets would exist here. And what else we got? Ah, oh, we got Meow Meow Mew. <laughs> it's adorable. Not a Jack. Hello, Jackie. Alright, last Phantom Rage Pack, and then it's on to the gold. And we love gold! Alright, what do we got? Infinity Doom Archfiend. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. So that does Phantom Rage. Alright, we do that. And we're just gonna pour this all out on the table. Doesn't really matter which case these go back into. They will be going back into their things, but we can take care of that later. We just want to get through these. So eight packs. Let's see what we get. All right, mistaken arrest. Draco sacked, lose one turn. Totally awesome, that is awesome. Barry Statue of Light, Gaia Dragon Chap, Rebellion XC Dragon, nice. I like the, I like the toad. The toad is always awesome. All right, what do we got? Union Scramble, the um, Jakulusan Synchro, Dark Lord Icho, Lost World, Dimensional Prison, Martial Metal Marcher, and Zodiac Chaka Nine. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Next. Alright, we've got a uh, Red Eye Die, Yin Hanger, Puritans of Necker Valley, nice to see, Miracle Contact, Dark Lord Rebellion, Old Lich. And Nites, the Elder Entity. Nice, nice. Alright. Uh, on we go. Blue Impala. No Noble Knight Dristan. Molecido Chateau. White Stone of Ancients, Temple of Six, Beatrice, Rota, the original Rota. <laughs> in this, in, at, as you know, the Beatrice kind of looked like a ghost rare in the right light. Like, we might put that aside to see if we can come back to that if we have power and time on our side. Okay, Chaos 107, Neo Galaxy's Tachyon. Jed Ride, Transcode, Reincarnation, Light Statue, Ghost Reap and Winter Cherries, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Nice. Always good to see the Ghost Trap. I mean, um, the Hand Trap Ghost Ladies. Alright, uh, Tour Bars of Forbidden Realms, number 87, Queen of Night. 74 Master of Blades, Planet Pathfinder, Ooh, Morning Star Mech Knight, Rusty Bardis, first gold of him I've pulled, and another Chucka Nine. Okay, the Rusties are nice, but I want something more out of these. Alright, well, we're nearly done here. Necro Valley Throne. Five Fist Buffalo, Circle of Vikings, Tuning, 
Go 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 Gigas. Impermanence Nimbiru. Nice. So that is a board removal and a negate right there out of one pack. <laughs> nice. And last go pack. Then we'll see if we can have another look at that Beatrice. Unless we pull another Beatrice. Alright. Tractic Marmelo. Tombs of Necro Valley. Prefer of Rights. Trade in. Eat with Millions. Not a Nibiru. Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not a bad pulls. I like that we got a Rusty out of this as well. Let's actually have another look at that Beatrice. Yeah, even though it is in color, you could almost swear from angles it looks like a Ghost Rare. But it is in color. It's just very light colors. Whites and pinks and light yellow. Yeah, you can clearly see that it's it's colored, but it almost seems like it's a ghost rare. Almost. So yeah, that's basically the unboxing video. I hope that you enjoyed, seeing as I was basically pushing my luck with the battery life. So I'm going to need to get the battery a charge. But I hope that you hit all the relevant buttons that, and that you've been enjoying the content we've been creating. Um, here's to um, 2021 for bigger and better content. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.